So beginning with chemicals, um, all living, non-living things are made up of, of chemicals. Um, there are natural and human-made chemicals. And depending on how much of a chemical or a concentration of a chemical, um, water may be safe for human consumption, but some are not. So examples of chemicals include fertilizer, gasoline, pesticides, even baking powder or artificial sweetener. What are minerals? There's a picture of different raw minerals found in nature. So minerals are inorganic, so they're not made by plants or humans or animals. They occur um, naturally in a solid form but they can be dissolved by water and can be found within water. Examples of some minerals include salts, calcium, magnesium, iron, um, other minerals are diamonds and gold, um, which typically are never found in water, um, but those are also minerals. How do chemicals end up in soil and in groundwater? So some chemicals and minerals can be found naturally in the soil, but also septic systems, um, cities, animals, um, industrial operations, agriculture, other human activities can allow chemicals to enter into the soil. Chemicals in the soil um, can make their way into groundwater and can become more concentrated or found in larger amounts over time. And so in this graphic, on the left, you can see um, a number of human uses, including a home with a septic system, which can release contaminants into the aquifer. An urban area like a city with a, a really deep well can also have impacts to an aquifer. Um, agriculture and animal operations as well. And then other industrial storage tanks, um, typically associated with um, petroleum products. So what is in groundwater? So beginning when water hits the surface and moves into the soil and moving through the land surface into the water table, the soil that it's moving through also contains minerals and chemicals from both natural and human sources. So multiple layers of soil can filter out trash and bacteria and insects. And as water flows through the soil, it can also move with it chemicals and minerals into the groundwater aquifer. So can these chemicals or minerals found in groundwater be harmful? And the answer is that, that minerals and chemicals are not all bad or all good. Some are important for survival, but also some can be harmful to human health. So different amounts or concentrations of a chemical or mineral in water can also change the water's color or smell or how safe it is to drink or also what's known as hardness, which is the, the white mineral deposits you might see on a shower head, for example. So in the picture below, you can see different shades of water illustrating that concentrations um, can vary from very little to a lot in the darkest um, beaker there. So chemicals with potential health impacts in some local drinking water supplies include this list here and are illustrated in some of the pictures to the left. So um, chemicals found in within the Kuya service area groundwater supplies include nitrate, also includes perchlorate 1,2,3-trichloropropane, which is also called TCP. There is 1,2-dibromo-3-chloropropane, also known as DBCP. Arsenic is a naturally occurring contaminant. And hexavalent chromium, which is, a hum which is not. And then trichloroethylene, also known as PCE. The Kawea Water Foundation program is focused um, solely on nitrates found in groundwater.